My name is Dixon Irebu. I anchor Nigeria right now, AIT. With the gloomy picture that is out there in our site today, with the rot in the political space, where do you get your inspiration? I choose, whenever I meet a young person, I want to know what that young person does. So you see me every day talking to young people. So this half, just this morning, I went somewhere with the chairman. And a young lady was to go and do that for me to make tea. I said, I will do it. She said, she will do it. She was excited to do it. She was worried. And she said to me, she was almost in tears and I lost the relationship. And I said, so what's your name? She said, she says, call that name. I said, so who are you? She said, she was Nasarawa. So I said, where do you go to school? She said, she went to university of Nasarawa. I said, so what do you do? She said, she has no job. She graduated since 28. She said, so what are you trying to do? She told me she's learned how to do baking. So why are you not baking instead of being here to do this? She said she doesn't have the 5,000 naira to buy an offer. Okay. Uh, so many people are the back there. So what I'm going to do is... Have a life you get in Nigeria every day. People who don't have money to buy enough. Okay, so um, those at the back, I recognize two people from the back so that you can, because of the time it takes you to move, you be coming, let me call someone here while you are coming. I think this is why Nigerians actually love him because he has the people in heart. Like he feels other people's pains and he, he always wants to get a solution for the problems of other people. Not just himself, Good not morning. just for selfish reasons, yes, but for the sake of the society Dixon, and the future of right our now, people. AIT. With the gloomy picture that is out there in our site today, with the rot in the political space where do you get your inspiration and your strength from nigerians want to know this of course i get my inspiration takes him from the young girl who doesn't have 75,000 naira to buy an oven when people like me can sit down in a place and drink a bottle of wine but it's cost another amount the same cause. But people like me have stolen billions of public money that would have bought an oven for that young graduate. So that's where you get your inspiration. I said I want to build a new Nigeria. Where those youths will have hope, where there will be a future for them. But I can't build it, Dixon, unless I do the right things so that I can emulate how to do the right things. This is how we need that is supposed to, to be them. thinking about the citizens how and trying to, to save us right from. No, God, we just and expect God to like do His will and give us the grace to like pass through this stage of um, problem solving and poverty in our country, Nigeria. By giving us the best leader and the right person on this stage. Because we have to live and show an example. And use the resources of the country. Public resources for public good. Doing the right thing for the country to do the right thing. If we have a security man, he should do his job. If we have somebody to conduct the election, I've been able to have an election in some of the West African countries. Texas wasn't anything near this. Is this what we spent billions to do? Hey, what they mean? It. We should have used that billions to do something else. And announce what they announced. Because this young girl would have had an awful and they would do the announcement. My goodness, I feel so bitter for this country. I feel so bitter because we really need help. We really need um, somebody who will stand as our savior. And that's what we're praying to God for, God to do for us. Because um, we can't continue like this. Guys, I don't know, you heard that speech. As in, what do you think? What do you have in mind? Let me know in the comment section to me. That was a wonderful speech given by him as well. Thank you for watching my video. Like my video and share. See my next video. Bye.